All right, what's going on everybody? So yesterday was the Shaman King reboot and I got a chance to watch it this morning. For those of y'all that don't know where to watch Shaman King, I will give you guys a link in the description and in the comment section to where you can watch it. We're probably going to have to go on these other different sites until Netflix releases it because uh, Netflix is going to be getting Shaman King later this year. We don't know when it's coming out for Netflix. So unfortunately, you're going to have to download shaman king you're either gonna have to download it or go find it on different sites like i said i'll leave a link in the description where you can watch it so before i get into this review let me just say this i'm one of those people that grew up with the four kids version and i never read the manga so this was like a completely different experience for me i gotta say man four kids back in the day you know four kids was always infamous for like cutting certain stuff and like you know changing stuff around because they tried to make everything kid friendly like they did like they did that with like one piece and i believe a few other shows but with, with uh just with this first episode because i went back and watched the first episode a few months ago the original first episode and i gotta say comparing it in my mind to this first episode this is a lot quicker the pacing is a lot is, is way faster uh than the four kids version and from what I read, uh, this first episode basically covers more than a third of the first volume. And I'm just like, when I read that online yesterday, I'm just like, dang. So, like, one of my concerns, because I could definitely tell that this was, like I said, this was really quick. In terms of pacing, like, my main concern, my main worry is whether or not they're going to rush things. Now, uh, for those of you that don't know, they just announced the Blu-ray box sets for this thing, and essentially what we're getting, uh, as we know for right now at least, uh, we're getting 52 episodes. Yeah, you heard you heard right, 52 episodes. The box sets are going to be basically uh, sent out in like 13 episodes. It's gonna be like 13 episodes each uh, for each box set. And so, like one of the one of the concerns that I'm hearing online, or I should say I should say reading online is that uh okay 52 episodes and i believe the shaman king manga is like something like 32 volumes i could be in i could be um i could be a little wrong with that it might be more it might be less but um like i said my, my main concern is whether or not they're going to you know rush things but as, as far as this episode goes it didn't feel like they were rushing things it did it did feel like like i said it was a lot quicker and something that I liked about this episode, something that I liked about this episode is just the fact that in comparison to the four kids version, um, they give you a lot more context. It seems like it's a, it's a lot more context and it's a lot more detail. Like we get context into, uh, we get context into why yo, uh, why yo was spacing out, and like even when Monty, uh, even when Monta, I, I'm if I say Morty, if I say Morty anytime. Uh, uh, in this review, forgive me. I like I said, I'm I'm used to watching the four kids. You know, back in the day, I watched the four kids version. So they called him they called him Morty, but here he's Mata. That's the that's his actual name. Like I said, four kids changed. Uh, they 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 just changed a lot back in the day. But um, like when we hear Mata talk about, you know, he's explaining uh he's basically explain explaining the shamans in detail uh while he's in class reading the dictionary. It's so like the, the explanation that we get, that's much more detailed than what we got in the original from what I'm remembering in my head right now. So like I said, uh, overall, it's it's a lot quicker. Uh, it's way more detailed. And then the way it opens up, like it opens up and I can tell, man, they cut, like I said, four kids cut so much. And a lot of what they tried to cut or a lot of the stuff that they cut and change, like like some kid, like sometimes four kids would, would uh, change certain things and certain scenes that didn't need to be changed but there was some stuff that i noticed that they cut here and i'm just like and, and i'm thinking okay they probably cut this because they try to make it child friendly they try to make it a uh, kid friendly so like the whole so like all that stuff so like we get this backstory we get this backstory with uh with the mitamaru and his friend um mosuke like that crap was not in the um that was in the four kids version, so like all that stuff with, with the with him and his uh and his friend the uh, swordsmith, that stuff wasn't even in that version. And then they talk about the fact, cause cause here's the thing, they they even get they basically uh give us give us uh Aminamaru's 
uh, of Minamaru's uh, backstory. And y'all, y'all can correct me if I'm wrong, if if it was in there. But from what from what I'm remembering, I don't remember none of that stuff. I'll say this: it's been a while since I've actually seen the four kids version in its entirety. But I gotta say, I don't remember them covering a, a lot of the stuff. As far as uh, Minamaru's uh, friend and like their whole backstory, their whole thing. But the the way that this thing opens is completely different too. Like I said, like I was about to say earlier, um, it opens with Yo's grandfather basically about to kill his uh, his twin brother Hao. His guardian spirit ends up awakening and then it ends up taking Hao away. And then we get a 13 year time jump where we see Manta coming from cram school when he decides to take a shortcut through a graveyard. This is when he first meets Yo Asakura and sees ghosts for the first time. Of course nobody believes him at school the next day and he becomes very curious of Yo when he transfers to his school. Manta learns that Yo is a shaman, someone with the power to communicate and use the skills of ghosts spirits and gods. After Manta gets beat up by Ryu and his gang one night looking for Yo, Yo decides to fight them by using the skills of the legendary Amida Maru. The show does follow the familiar beats of that first episode, but the only difference here is that there are some stuff, like I said, there's some stuff that wasn't in the original, or at least from what I remember, uh, that wasn't in that original first episode. Maybe they pulled some stuff that was in the series later on that I'm not remembering. But yeah, like I said, the flashback stuff with Mosuke, Amida Maru's friend, you know, the swordsmith that I was referring to, that stuff wasn't in there. Uh, basically, dumb explaining how uh, uh, explaining how Amida Maru became a legend. Like, all that stuff wasn't in there. I mean, honestly... As far as this episode goes, I like this first episode. It, it made me remember what I liked about uh, Shaman King. Uh, that first episode growing up, watching it for the first time. Uh, we get Tao at the end. The thing about Yo, man. The thing that I remember loving about Yo is just how laid back he is. And they, they still got that. In terms of how the show looks visually, of course it looks way better than the 2003 version, but just in general, I think that it looks beautiful. Uh, the animation, in terms of the animation, I think it could have been more fluid in, in certain scenes, but it's still good. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Bridge Studios working on this, they did Townless Nana and Fairy Tale, and I gotta say, there's some really cool looking scenes, like I said earlier. Like that one scene at the end where Yo and Mata, they're standing at a graveyard after Yo defeats Ryu. And there's just all these spirits around them. That was a really beautiful looking scene. In terms of the music and voice acting, I thought that the voice acting was pretty good. I like Ryu's voice actor. I think Morty and, and Yo's voice actors. I, I think the voice acting uh, really does fit the characters. I didn't like a couple of the tracks, but I did like the opening. That 4Kids dub opening, and that's always going to be superior in my mind. I mean, I know that's probably blasphemy for some of y'all, but, like, I grew up on that. Y'all got to understand, I grew up on that. So, like, I'm always going to prefer that. But, yeah, that opening was good. As far as the ending goes, as far as the ending song goes, I... I'm kind of so-so on the ending song, but the sequence itself, the, uh, the actual animation sequence, I do like that. Overall, I really enjoyed this first episode. I think this was a solid reintroduction to these characters. They fleshed out Amida Maru and gave us a lot more context and information into everything. So, yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on this first episode. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out of here. Peace.